I have lived with this my entire life. I do not know what it's like, nor can I imagine what it's like for someone like who goes off to Iraq or something like that and comes back with their face severely disfigured. See, I just used a bad, bad word. With their face changed for the rest of their life. I feel that I can be helpful to those people because I can tell them you're not, I am living the example that your life is not over. I couldn't wait to graduate high school. By the time I graduated high school, I just, I was so ready to be out of there. Because I had this idea that by the time I got to college, I would be an adult. And I would be an adult among adults. And I could be accepted as an adult. And that meant a lot to me. Because I spent a lot of my childhood wanting to be like everybody else. And the surgeries, I kept expecting the surgeries to make me perfect. Because when you're growing up, you believe that medical science could do things that you eventually realize, uh, yeah, OK, they can't do that. I came to realize I was only going to get so much better in my appearance. I was never going to look perfect. And it was to the point where kids were still going to stare at me. I believe that dispelling ignorance is the most important thing that we can do. When people realize that just because somebody has a difference, and it doesn't matter if it's their face or if they're missing an arm, they are still people. First and foremost, they are people. My first horse turned out to be not a good match. He wasn't trained, he was afraid of things. And I got hurt a few times. So I figured I've got two choices. And I got scared. I, I was afraid to ride because I was getting hurt. I had two choices. I could give up, or I could learn everything I could about Icelandic horses, about riding them. And now I'm a professional trainer, so <laughs> you can imagine which direction I chose to take. Now, I also understand that they say there's a lot said about giving up or quitting. But I believe that it is a personal choice. People might say it's not worth it. And there's nothing wrong with making that kind of choice to say, this is not the direction that I want my life to go. So it's not about quitting. It's about deciding that you have other places you want to devote your energy. I decided the Icelandic course was a place I wanted to devote my energy. So I did. I like to interact with kids. If I catch them pointing at me, I catch them staring at me, asking, Mommy, what's wrong with her face? I try to engage the kid. If I believe they are old enough to understand, I will very politely and respectfully go up and say, if you have a question about my face, it's OK for you to ask me. I don't mind. 